Okay, so now we are ready to start with some automation. First of all, I go to Trello.com and in that open developer tools. So for that you can use Control shift i or you can hit F12 key. Otherwise, you can go here and click on more tools and then click on developer tools. Okay, so in the developer tools you have two main sections. One is elements, second is console. There are other sections also but primarily we are going to focus on these two so that I can teach you about HTML source which you can find here in the elements tab. The entire page HTML lies inside this and whatever command that you want to fire through JavaScript you can use console for that. Right? So let us start few things from here. We have seen in our last video few controls about this page. Okay? So let us start digging into what these two tabs offer us. I'm on to elements tab first of all and before we start automation we should know the HTML source and how actually page renders on the browser. Okay so for every page you would see some structure like this which would be having a HTML tag and this is the starting HTML tag and this is the closing of HTML tag. Inside that you would find head and body. All the elements that you need to work upon would be under body. So that's why when I put my cursor on that it highlights entire page. Head has some elements which would include meta which also includes some scripts and information like title which you see here on the top. Alright so we are gonna talk about body a little more. Okay so in the body you would see various elements with their tag names. In this particular example, div is a tag name which has couple of attributes and their values. For example, id is one of the attribute and its value is Trello root. Similarly, class is another attribute for this same element and its value is Chrome, Chrome 76, Windows and a big value like that. Right? Similarly, we have styling attribute and then its value and you see three dots here. It would be something which is present inside the div. It may be a simple plain text or it can be an element inside other. Right? So that's why we have an inner HTML here inside this. And this is the closing tag for the same element. Right? So this element is having a lot of things. And that's why when I put a mouse on this, it highlights actually entire page. So that means this element contains everything which you see on the page. Right, let's further dig down and we start clicking on one or two elements here and we see that when I go inside I am able to partially select some of the elements. Like for this one it is highlighting only the header. For this one it would be highlighting only the body and the content if I click on the third one. And the last one would highlight only the footer portion. Okay, so whichever element we need to see we need to first of all reach to that element and see what tag is associated to it, what attributes are associated to them and what value is associated to it. So we need to look at these parameters with when we start looking for properties for element and we want to perform operation on that page. Let's have a look at the console tab also. So the entire page that you see is accessible through JavaScript using document keyword. When you hit document enter, you would get that entire document. You would see that we are getting the same content here in the elements tab also. Elements actually represents the document. So this is the document. Okay. So any action that you want to perform on the page would be done on this document only. So you need to use document dot and then you need to call the method. Just for an example, if you want to fetch URL of this page, so you can use document dot URL. And you will get the current URL of the page. Similarly, we have a lot of other methods. We are not going to cover all of them. We are only focusing about some of them which are required for automation. Okay, so for example, if I use document.body, it will give me only the body. It is not giving me the outer HTML layer or the head part of it. It is only giving me the body. The major ones that we are going to focus on in our next couple of videos are query selector so document dot 
query selector so we have two functions for query selector one is query selector second one is query selector all these two keywords are primarily used to locate elements on the page using css styling css stands for cascading style sheet okay i'll teach you about css selectors also but let us see what are the inputs required for this method so the inputs are only one selector here okay so it accepts only one argument and that argument should be in string form and that should represent a selector now let us talk about selectors one by one let's say i want to have all the elements on the page which have tag name div so for that our statement would be document dot query selector and then in single or double quotes you can put div so it gives you the element which have tag div but you can see here in the elements tab we have lot of elements which have tag as div but it is returning only one element so query selector always give you one element and that would be the first element but if you want all the elements query selector all would give you a complete list of elements and it also gives you the count that it has returned 198 elements matching this criteria so now we know that how to select an element using tag name let's look for some other tags for example if i want to have all the elements which have tag input so query selector all input so it says that it has four elements matching our criteria and these would be the elements similarly if i search for document dot query selector anchor tag it gives me all the elements which have tag name as anchor so it returned 54 elements now you understand how to search element using tag name okay so we spoke about document we spoke about document dot query selector we spoke about document dot query selector all and we spoke about document dot query selector with a tag name let's further go inside and see elements tab again so now we know that how to select any element on the page using tag name but the problem is we can't reach to a element uniquely with tag name because there are lot of elements which follow the same tag so how do we reach to a element using other properties because tag name is not going to help so let's have a look at some other properties for example if i talk about id id is generally unique to an element so we can also search with element id so all you need to do to search an element using id is document dot query selector the argument will always go in the string format and to search an element using id you need to use hash followed by the id for example id for this case is trello hyphen root so therefore we get one element but query selector always give us one one element so that doesn't make sure that we are getting one element or more using this criteria so instead of query selector we use query selector all so that makes sure that we have got only one element matching this criteria so id was a good way to search an element on the page now we know how to select an element using id similarly if you search for any other element take an example of notification now this is not a div tag it is paragraph tab so for that So we got paragraph tag. Now let's say you face into a challenge where two elements share one common ID, but they have different tag name. So for that you can use ID along with tag name. And to use ID along with tag name, just for an example, if I want to use tag name along with ID, so for that I just need to put the tag name before hash. So this means I'm looking for an element which has tag name as P. and id equals notification so it returns same element but if i search for div with id notification so there is no element matching this criteria so after id 
let's say we want to search an element using class name if that element is not having id and has only class name how to locate an element for example this element this is not having id and if we want to locate this element or maybe this element which locator should we use so i copy this class name to locate this element and i go to console i again type document dot query selector to search an element using class name i need to use dot operator so dot and then followed by class name it gives me that element let's check whether this element is unique or not it is actually not so class is not something which is unique to an element it is quite possible and there are higher chances that class is being shared by multiple elements so therefore only class won't help so we need to use something along with class to find the locator uniquely just try to figure it out further we can see here all these elements have div as a tag so even if we try to use tag name along with the class name in the same way like we used for id and, and tag name it is still going to give us seven elements because all these seven elements have div as tag name and class name as js react root so that means we need to further apply some filters to reach to that element uniquely we'll speak about all those filters later on but let's first of all see what happens when our class name is having spaces and what does it actually mean so try to figure out whether we are able to search an element using this class name which is having spaces in between when i hit enter it gives result that no element found the reason for this is it is actually not space this means we have multiple classes first class is chrome second class is chrome hyphen 76 third is windows fourth is body board view so it has actually followed four classes and before every class name we need to use dot operator and we need to remove space so remove all the spaces and replace by dot this way you would be able to reach to that element uniquely if you want to use tag name along with this also that you can do so for that you just need to put tag name before dot let's move on further and try to figure out how to select elements using any other tag other than id and class name let's figure out how to select element using any other attribute other than id and class name so let's say i want to search all the elements which have type text and tag name as input first of all let's figure out how to search elements using type as text so for that i would use document dot query selector now for type or other attributes we do not have a shortcut like dot and hash we have for class and id for type we need to put type type equals text but this thing we can't give alone because we need to say that this property is associated to something and this property along with the attribute and value we need to put in square brackets and we need to mention the tag name before that so this way i would be able to get results for other attributes like type or maybe something else so put tag name and then in square brackets give attribute name equals the value in double quotes if you don't know the tag name instead of that you can also put star star means all the elements matching this attribute key and value as text that's pretty much for this session we'll further see how to select more elements and more complicated elements in the next video thank you